Welcome, Internet. All you out there on the tubes, welcome to the first installment, episode one of the Apartment Covers series. The what? The Apartment Covers series. This is an experiment that is being done by Orfeo and the Wrench, that is Steve and I. So we're trying to make a name for ourselves in Denver. Trying to get fans, real live fans, real live people in Denver. This week, we're going to be playing at the Meadowlark on Tuesday, the Summit Music Hall on Thursday. They're open mic nights. Tuesday and Thursday. That's every day that starts with the T. T days, T days, Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, I think that we have been primed to go viral for years. We have decided to start creating content on a weekly basis in the form of webisodes in order to penetrate the Denver market. Where? Denver! Denver? We're from Boulder. We're moving to Denver. We've had a hell of a time trying to find an apartment in the Denver area. Landlords are hesitant to rent to a couple of self-employed musicians. The next best thing to a, a Yelp review that we can do is just right here. This is for Brownstone Realty. Brownstone Realty. Don't double down our security deposit before you check our credit. That's what a credit check is for. So if you're on YouTube and you're in Denver and you see this, come and see us, buy our music, go on to bandcamp.com, where Bandcamp, we are going to be playing covers by other musicians that we like in our apartment and recording them in one take, no effects, just one take, this is actually what we sound like. We put our own spin on everything that we play, and we have fun with everything that we play. We definitely want our covers to be an homage of sorts to the artists whose work we really respect, and especially those whose work we really have fun playing. This week's cover will be our version of a song called No Children by the Mountain Goats from their album Tallahassee, released in 2002 on the 4AD record label. So a great big thanks to the Mountain Goats. You rock! No Children. No Children. How long have we been playing No Children? No Children is one of the earliest songs that we ever worked up together as a duo. I don't know, it must have been like the second song that we learned. We always enjoy playing it. I first started singing this song, uh, Drunk as Hell with Laura Ambrose, just screaming it into the freezing Iowa winter night. That's how I learned the lyrics. Was was drunk outside the Delta house. The real twist with No Children is that it's, uh, though it's done in the form of a love song, it's about a relationship that is completely delaminated. It might not be far from the truth to describe it as a hate song. I still find the song powerfully, powerfully romantic in the age of so much disconnection between all of us. It's rare to have strong feelings about anyone. Even when a relationship has devolved to the point where both participants just can't even stand the sight of each other, at least it's still a powerful emotion. Beats the shit out of all the apathy and just straight up not caring there is out there these days. I don't know. Song meanings can get a little bit sticky sometimes when you really try to get in and, uh, and, and pull them apart. But the really important thing about songs is that they mean anything to anyone. Even if that personalized individual meaning is a little bit silly. Drunk outside the Delta house. So... One of the things that we, we'd like to incorporate into our future webisodes will be responding to the comments on earlier YouTube uploads. So we do have one YouTube upload. It is called... Orfeo and the Wrench, Sad Little Monster, Nothing Left to Say, New Indie Music, Rock Acoustic. It's the lead track from our debut EP, which is on bandcamp.com. You should download it. With just some pictures of us as a slideshow as the music plays. It was made by his dad. We're going to actually <laughs> respond to two YouTube comments right now. Yang Min, who said, I've never heard of you guys before. Are you touring anytime soon? Is Brooklyn on your agenda? Well, I've always said about Brooklyn, I've said it before, that the best music that happens is coming out of Brooklyn, New York, and our apartment here in Boulder. We would love to go to Brooklyn, but we're going to try to uh, get Denver first, get fans in Denver. Once we have that, then we'll go to Brooklyn. 
Um, now, to FIFA Chakma, who said, I want to see more. What's with the slideshow format? Can't you make a real video? I think uh, this is the response to that. The Apartment Covers series. Give up on trying to save us I hope we come up with a fail-safe plot To piss off the dumb few that forgave us And I hope the fences we mended Fall down beneath their own weight And I hope we hang on past the last exit I hope it's already too late And I hope the junkyard a few blocks from here Someday burns down And I hope the rising black smoke carries me far away And I never come back to this town again In my life In my life I hope I love I love and I lie And tell everyone you were a good wife And I hope you die Shaving tomorrow, and I hope it bleeds all day long. Our friends say it's darkest before the sun rises. We're pretty sure they're all wrong. I hope it stays dark forever, and I hope the worst isn't over. And I hope you blink before I do, and I hope I never get sober. And I hope when you think of me years down the line. Find one good thing to say And I hope if I found The strength to walk out You'd stay the hell out of my way I am drowning, drowning. There is no sight of plan There's no way You are coming down with me And an unlovable hand And I hope you die Keep an eye out for future webisodes. More covers to come. So that's it. Orpheo in the wrench. Orpheo in the wrench!